Um, let me let me ask you a different question, Ms. Edmonds. Uh, you, I understand that you executed an affidavit or a declaration, actually, in this case uh, on August 5, 2009. Um, happy to show it to you. I've got one copy of it. I'm happy to show it to you if you'd like to see it. But I just have uh, some uh, questions about some of the things you said in the declaration. Um, in, in paragraph uh, uh, 3 of your declaration, you say, I also obtained evidence that the government of Turkey had engaged in practices and policies that were inimical to American interest and had in fact resulted in both the direct and indirect loss of American lives. Uh, and do you recall saying that in your, your declaration? Yes. Um, can you tell me what practices and policies that you were referring to that were inimical to American interest? <clears throat> There's uh, several. Uh, one is uh, practices and operations uh, implemented from mid-1990s, uh, at least until towards end of 2001 in um, Central Asia and, and Caucasus there. Um, and these operations and practices included um, Islamization of the certain segments of um, those Turkic nations, Uzbekistan, uh, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, there are so many of them in, in, that, in that area, and uh, setting up madrasas um, and uh, bringing in, um, helping, helping bringing um, at the time, they were not referred to as Al Qaeda until 2001, September 11. They were referred to as plain Mujahideens from uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan into Central Asia, then to Turkey to give them passports, and then <clears throat> funnel them in 1997, 1998 to certain Eastern European countries and the Balkans. And also, uh, I mean, it's very broad. I, I, I can go on for, for, for a long time about what practices and, and, and why they were, they were against the security and the interests of the uh, Americans and, and the lives. Okay, well, I don't want to burden you too much, but I would like as complete an answer as you can, can give us in terms of what you were referring so to. Those operations uh, went until, at least until um, September 2000. And and again, for those operations, they uh, corroborated and worked with certain uh, U.S. persons uh, who were involved in these operations. Um, the other would be um, the obtaining, illegally obtaining, and uh, selling U.S. Uh, military and military technology and that includes weapons and nuclears and even from foreign policy related uh, secret or high top secret uh, information and not only for Turkey but um, passing this information to what they refer to as highest bidders and whoever bid highest whether these people were nation states or they were just uh, individuals that they were pursuing on their counterterrorism after September 11. That would be another example of uh, activities that they were involved that were against uh, the security and the interests of the Americans uh, with cost in terms of lives. Um, well, that was going to be my next question. Is how do you connect what the Turkish government was doing to the direct and indirect loss of American lives? Uh, one example of this would be with Brewster Jennings, for example, just selling that information and getting that information out in the hands of those um, foreign entities, including Pakistan. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that the CIA was asked for to right away do damage assessment, and one of the things that uh, came out of it was the damage assessment included damage to asset both in terms of uh, Effect, effectiveness, which was neutralized, and, and the Brewster Jennings front company for CIA had to be immediately uh, absolved. Uh, 
that summer after this information was obtained, mm -hmm. but also they were assets and, and U.S. Uh, people who were compromised because of that uh, by the part with the, within these foreign governments. That's another. And, and the third one that I started talking about were um, helping these individuals come, um, the first Azerbaijan, then Turkey, and these are certain Mujahideen groups starting from 1995, 1996. They were given Turkish passports. In some cases, they were given Azerbaijani passports. And they, uh, Turkey played a very active and important role in taking these people and, and moving them into Europe. And some of those people actually ended up in the United States. Okay. And I think you, you indicated earlier that um, the, the Turkish government, to your knowledge, was providing support to what were, was once called the Mujahideen, Correct. is now called Al Qaeda. Al -Qaeda. Correct. Um, and it's it generally been publicly reported that Al Qaeda was behind the 9 11 attacks. Correct. And that cost American lives. Correct. Um, how else has, uh, to your knowledge, the Mujahideen or Al Qaeda that Turkey was supporting uh, cost American lives? Uh, September 11 and uh, the other category I talked about was uh, the intelligence and, and identifying assets or the front companies. The, um, the, the third category that involved narcotics activities and that was, at least until I left, uh, these Turkish people, and some of them are directly connected to Turkish intelligence and Turkish military mm -hmm. in the United States. They played a very significant role in bringing in heroin mm -hmm. from uh, source from Afghanistan to Turkey, but from Turkey into both the United States, but also directly to Belgium. So large it, quantity, very, very large quantity of heroin. So if I were to say that um, if I were a congressperson and I'm taking money from the Turkish government either directly or indirectly, would it be a fair statement that I'm taking money from a government that has engaged in policies and practices that have cost American lives? Correct. Um, are you familiar with a, a person named Fatula Gulen, G-U-L-E-N? Yes. Can you tell us who that is? Um, my information is mainly about his activities and, and issues that were again done from uh, late 1990s until I left and then after that it will be known activities here in the United States. He shortly, uh, he was a religious activist figure in Turkey and uh, he landed on Turkish government's wanted list and was going to be uh, persecuted for uh, wanting to throw Turkish secular government, replace it with Islamic Sharia uh, kind of type of government. Mm -hmm. And uh, when uh, he was wanted in Turkey for that and he was going to go to jail, persecuted, he actually got on the plane and came to the United States and he was given immediately visa to stay uh, in the United States. And he's been in the United States until now, as far as I know. He has uh, since established more than 300 madrasas in Central Asia that, and what he calls universities that have a front that is called moderate Islam. But he is closely um, involved in training in like militia Islam who are brought from Pakistan and Afghanistan into Central Asia where his madrasas uh, operate. And his uh, organization's net worth is estimated to be around $25 billion. He has opened several Islamic universities in the United States. Um, as I said, it's being promoted under moderate Islam. Uh, it is supported by certain um, U.S. authorities here because of the operations in Central Asia. But what they have been doing since late 1990s is actually radical Islam and militizing these uh, very, very young from the age 14, 15 by commanders they use, and this is both commanders from Turkish military, commanders from Pakistani, ISI, 
in Central Asia and Azerbaijan, and after that they bring them into Turkey, and from Turkey they send them through Europe to Europe and, and elsewhere. 